Henderson Pool has been plagued by contamination as long as anyone can remember, but now officials are cracking down. The pool experienced 24-hour closures three times last year and once this year due to an unwelcome chemical presence in the water, which is always costly. On a hot day, 30 plus here, could be about $8,000 in revenue, uh, lost revenue for the staff who don't get to work, that kind of stuff. So, you know, could be upwards of $10,000 by the time you're all done. Of course, that's not the only issue, as contamination can also be quite dangerous. The most concerning are the fecal incidents, and that's the nature of the organisms that can be contained in poop. Poop can contain viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Some of these organisms are very hard to kill with chlorination and filtration systems that are in place in pools. Given that fecal contamination is the most common type in pools, Alberta Health Services is heavily focused on the type of threat that poses. One particular illness that we worry about in pools specifically is cryptosporidium. Crypto can cause a really watery diarrhea and can sometimes last for 30 days. There are even deaths due to cryptosporidium. So this is a very serious organism. While some may think a way to address this is punishing those who contaminate the pool, it's a suggestion that appears to fall flat. Part of the problem is, is 99% of the time we don't know who it is. You put 800 people in this pool, uh, and uh, you're not going to you're not going to know who it is. The other thing is is that if we implement something like that, we want people to come and let us know. But if they know they're going to get a fine, they're not going to tell us. So so uh, we don't think we'll be doing anything like that. The pool typically remains open until Labor Day weekend, meaning there are 45 days for Lethbridge residents to enjoy the facility, weather and lack of contamination permitting. Since no one can guarantee an absence of contamination and how long that can delay pool operations, and with scattered showers expected on Thursday, you might want to get out there as soon as you can. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.